So the next question is, what is the force between two small charged spheres having charges of 2 into 10 raised to minus 7 coulomb and 3 into 10 raised to minus 7 coulomb placed 30 centimeter apart in the air? Okay, so what is given in your problem? Given, you have to find out the force between two small, uh, small charged spheres having charges. So let me take charge Q1 is equal to 2 into 10 raised to minus 7 coulomb and charge Q2 is equal to 3 into 10 raised to minus 7 coulomb. Okay, these are the two charges which are spaced 30 centimeter apart. Means what the distance R is equal to 30 centimeter. So I can write 30 centimeter is nothing but equal to 30 into 10 raised to minus 2 meter which is equal to if it is 10 raised to minus 2 you have to shift two points towards the left side so it becomes 0.3 meter okay now what do you have to find out you have to find out the force so what is the force as per coulomb's law we know that the electrostatic force is equal to electrostatic force is given by the formula what is the formula f is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught into magnitude of the two charges divided by your distance square right so what is epsilon naught is equal to the permittivity of the free space of free space and we know that the value 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught is equal to what is the value 9 into 10 raised to 9 newton meter square per coulomb square so i can write it as coulomb raised to minus 2 okay now can i substitute in the formula f is equal to instead of 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught you substitute the value as 9 into 10 raised to 9 newton meter square coulomb minus 2 now what are the two charges you are going to take only the magnitude okay so 2 into 10 raised to minus 7 coulomb what is q2 q2 is equal to 3 into 10 raised to minus 7 coulomb divided by okay now what is your r square r square is equal to 0.3 square right so 0.3 square now uh, what is your unit here it is meter so meter into meter you will be getting meter square so can we cancel all the units now so here you have c raised to minus 2 here you have 1 coulomb here you have 1 coulomb meter square meter square will get cancelled right okay so let us take 9 into 10 raised to 9 newton into 2 3s are 6 right so 6 into 10 raised to minus 7 minus 7 you will be getting minus 14 0.3 into 0.3, 3 3 is a 9. After decimal you have 1 point. So 0.3 into 0.3, so you will be getting 0.09. Okay, 0 0.09. Can we cancel now? 1 9 is 9, 0 0.01. Okay, so let me reconfigure it into 6 into 10 raised to 9. Okay, into 10 raised to minus 14 divided by, can I write it 0 0.01 as 10 raised to minus 2? Okay, Newton, which is equal to, F is equal to, so if I take this 6 into 10 raised to 9 into 10 raised to minus 14, if I take this 2 towards this numerator, it becomes 10 raised to 2, Newton. So what will be your value? 6 into, so 9 plus 2, 9, 10, 11, right? So 11 and minus 14, so you will be getting 10 raised to minus 3 Newton. So this will be your answer, the force will be equal to 6 into 10 raised to minus 3 Newton.